previously on the fakest date ever. Great planning, Peter. Oh, well, I yeah. didn't plan this. Yeah. You look great. Seriously? You have a vlog too. Wait, two? Oh, Five. okay. So, first. All right, all right. So we're going to Cockatoo Island. <laughs> Seriously? Are these pan pies? To be young and in love. And now, on the fakest date ever. We're at the Botanical Gardens! Yay! Peter said he would never come here on a date because it seems boring. Well, I mean, it does. It's some flowers. Yeah, and Government House, and cool fountains, and really old trees. Oh, really old trees. Because the Conservatorium is nearby? Yes, it is. Let's go there. Oh, the Conservatorium! Okay, no. The Conservatorium is the one good thing about the Botanic Gardens. Yeah, I'm going to study there one day. How do you know? Because he's an amazing musician and they have to let him in. That? Yeah. Are you going to study there? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure. Maybe. I just think we should visit because it's cool. That doesn't make it a good place for a date. Well, some old trees in a house aren't a good place for a date. Um, they're historically significant. Well, the conservatorium is currently significant. Well, not to me. Well, government house oh my is god. just... Oh my god, guys! How about this? Just do both. Fine. Okay. So wow. It's probably house. like 20. Bloody hell, Peter, you're allowed to be excited about things, you know. It's a really cool house. Yeah, it has turrets. And a sundial. Ooh. Yeah, because we all use sundials these days. <sighs> Come on, they have tours, you know. <gasps> do they really? Yeah, we should go oh, on no, one. let's oh do God. it! I would rather impale myself on the sundial. Yeah. Not too bad, we're doing it. No. Yeah. Yep. No. Yep. No, we're not doing it. No, no, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. So, what did you think? Ah, uh, that was the worst 45 minutes of my life. <sighs> so, turns out we're not allowed to film in there. Sorry about that. It was awesome, though. I want to die. He actually really liked it? Yeah, he did. I did not. <laughs> we're going to the conservatorium before I vomit. Okay. It's okay. Your secret's safe with me, Bates, Gleason, and the entire internet. <laughs> Come on, Pete, admit it. You liked it. I didn't. Yes, you, you did. did. This is defamation. Uh, I'll Come do on. an impersonation. <clears throat> I'm Peter Glover. <laughs> I hate Katie, but I love oh, government that is so true. The that is furniture so true. looks so comfy, oh, Katie. Did I even that say is that? Katie, Spot on. the oh, ceiling is painted. That's amazing. Do you that. think they sell us government that. house for two hundred and fifty dollars, Katie? Okay, fine, fine, Katie? fine, fine, fine. I like the house. You happy? Yeah. Yes. We can go to the con now. Right. Feel like talking to our well. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have a birthday party at don't government house. Oh my god, no, 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 please, please, please stop. Oh my god, thanks, thanks, stop, oh my god. Play me a song, play me a song. Please, play me a song, play me a song. I got a song for you. You're the next Mozart. This is not a drill. We have lost George Gleason. He went inside ten minutes ago to check if we could film and he has not yet returned. I am currently third wheeling all by myself and I am not enjoying it. I repeat, I am not enjoying it. Sorry. He's probably just found a piano and forgot about us. The lovebirds may have oh, a point. Dude, oh, really? Birds, seriously. George Bates investigates. That should be my tagline. Yeah, but sand is weird and sandy. That's the best part. Uh, no, it's not. Y yes, it is. You're so wrong. Oh my god, I'm allowed to like the beach and hate sand, you know? <laughs> no, you're not. It's the... Hang on. Who is it? Who is it? Uh, hi. Who is it? Peter. Peter. Who is it? Yeah, who is no. it? My god, who is it? Harry. Oh, ew, tell him he's a dickhead. Um, what do you want? I'm not avoiding you, Harry. What are you, 12? I'm really not. I can't. Um, I got an English practice essay. Practice essay? Well, I am right now. Uh, it's about Julius Caesar. Well, I'm not avoiding you. You know what, Harry? I reckon I am. No, 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 no. Let me finish and I'll tell you why. Katie, can you tell me what you did with my sister, man? What the hell? It's so not on. <laughs> it's not fine. Screwed up, man. Her mum was okay with it going on dates. Not, not. That was nearly assault, Harry. Um, I've watched the video. Have you seen the comments? 
Which bitch? Ah, oh, that bitch. No, I'm just a decent person, Harry. Um, you paid me to hang out with her. Ah, oh, a bit late for that. We're at the conservatorium. On a date? Sorry about that. No, 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 it's fine. Um, you didn't call him a dickhead, though. No, no, I didn't mean... No, it's... You're a dickhead. I was joking, but thanks. That's fine. Update. George Gleason was inside talking to one of the teachers about Hans Zimmer and forgot to ask if we could film. Luckily, George Bates came to the rescue, found out that we couldn't, and eventually managed to pull Gleason away from his new boyfriend. Another success for George Bates. Investigates. We planned that. Was it good? I just no, can't it's get it to make I can't get yeah, it to make it's like a I can make it sound like this though. <laughs> it's so weird. I can't get it to actually sound like this. <laughs> Dave, jump in! What? what? Jump in. Oh, oh no! Why not? You, you jump in! Well, no! Who just looks at a fountain and tells someone to jump in? Me? Bates, you jump in! Hey, why are we all obsessed with jumping in fountains all of a sudden? <laughs> just Peter! <laughs> It'll be funny, do it! YOLO! Carpe diem! Like, do you know how many birds are Carpe diem! That it's illegal! Carpe diem! Oh my god, can you Carpe diem! Carpe diem! Oh my god! Carpe the fucking diem! That's not how Latin works! <laughs> oh, you can take it up with Italy! Once you carpe the Fine! Oh. What could possibly be the subtext of this situation? Who knows? It's a mystery. However, luckily, George Bates investigates.